This is Racket Point. This is where we used to go swimming. Um, and uh, the ferry was here. The ferry came from Cornwall Island over there, just across the river. But that ended, you know, when the seaway came through, they just didn't want uh, people going, you know, boats going across, and with the seaway coming through, the big ships and stuff. So that closed down, it stopped, and now this is what's left of it. And just, uh, just uh, what do you call it? Just memories here now. A lot of changes happened since the time when I was little to go swimming here. We'd go and dive off here, climb the piers, and um, dive in the water, and swim out. And we had a lot of good times, had picnics here, and all the kids. We'd come on our little bikes, you know, or walk during the summer all the way. It'd be hot. And we'd jump in, stay, pack a lunch, and stay here the afternoon, and then go home for supper. But I remember the little girls going right there, swimming in there. In the clay part where it used to be sand. It used to go right. But things changed, you know, they kind of did a lot of bulldoze in here since then. From each side to side and this side they added on to here. But we spend all our time going swimming. Nobody had pools back then. We all had had the river to swim in. Little did we know that uh, GM General Motors and Alcohol than the Racket River. The Racket River is more like a spring. Um, and this water here is colder. It's fresh water. But with uh, all the contaminants, it's hard. Um, we used to feel warm spots like once in a while all over the place. We never knew what they were, currents or what. But we used to feel them mostly on the Racket River. But here too. And then, um, you know, when ships go by, they take the water out and then they come back in. Um, then the, the speedboats would come by, you know, the waves would come in and go out. And there were a lot of seaweeds and, and there was a lot of fish in here too. At that time, when I was little, back, back in the seven, early 1760s, seven, um, you didn't see the fish. Sores on them, or cyst, or uh, ab abscess things on their skin. But uh, it was in the 80s we started seeing them, seeing things with the fish on their scales and tumors, and it just didn't look right. And that's when we started um, having to eat less fish in the 80s. We had Mount Sinai calm down and from New York City and they did a test. And all, all they told us was that there's too many people here that are diabetic and they're just not eating right. They just eat junk food and uh, starchy food and they're just not eating right. But that's, you know, that's not true. We ate a lot of fish. Uh, every time you walk down the, the, the road here, all you could smell was fish, you know, and when you go home for dinner, <laughs> you got the fresh, fish, uh, fresh catch. But a long time ago, too, there were, like, you could always see these little shacks, like on the island. Back in the day, there used to be little shacks. There were people who had their, their boats and 
they would stay there. Like some people, depending on what kind of uh, the fishing season it is, they'd stay in their shack all night and just wait and fish, go check their nets at night. And uh, that's just the way it was. And a lot of them, a lot of these houses that you see here from the island weren't there when I was little. So there's barely any houses there. Or the chronic care right across the river here with the green roof. That just got there. It's only like about 20 years old. Maybe less than that. The 90s they came in. And the housing, apartments, you can see that too. That's, that's all there too. But the shacks that uh, anybody could go there, you know, if you wanted, if you were over here, had a boat and you wanted fish, you just go across the river to one of those shacks and you got your fish. So, and there were all kinds of ways to cook it. The elders always cooked, you know, and even the eggs, the fish eggs too, we, we were told that it's really good to eat. But now, now we can't eat all that. Um, we, to we were told it's not a good thing to eat because um, it causes cancer and uh, tumors, um, all kinds of things, you know. And uh, the water, the water's contaminated. This water looks so good and clear, but really, you know, you put it in a glass and you, you, you just don't want to drink it. Since, um, Domtar and GM closed up. The water has gotten a lot more clear, and uh, but we're still told not to drink because the high levels of uh, uh, pollutants in it. Around here, you know, a lot of people had cancer, tumors, um, uh, diabetes, thyroid problems. Uh, heart problems, you name it, you know, their kidney failure, um, liver problems, breast cancer, stomach cancer, it's all there, it's all there. And, um, but it's, we're going to be teaching the younger generation, the next seven generations, how to turn that around, you know. First you have to get all these corporations out of here. And that's the first thing we have to do, is teach them that uh, living off the land is the best way to live and take care of it, of all living things here on Turtle Island.